welcome to the FL Studio video tutorial on using the Piano Roll Editor. The Piano Roll allows you to construct songs with unlimited complexity. That would be hard or impossible to do with a step sequence or grid. Notes in the Piano Roll are displayed as horizontal bars, and slides are shown as horizontal bars with little triangles on the left hand side. You can preview tones by left clicking on the preview board keys. The pitch is mapped from top to bottom. The horizontal dimension represents time. And each number in the piano roll ruler represents a bar. Click the channel's name in the title bar to select another channel to display in the piano roll. Each note in the piano roll has its own length which is a different way to present music to that of the step sequencer, where the only way to turn off a note is to cut it off by inserting another one. Switching to draw mode lets you draw, edit, and erase notes. The paint mode is similar to the draw mode, except that you can now enter multiple notes at a time. Do this by dragging horizontally in the piano roll. In draw or paint mode, left clicking on the piano roll will insert a note. After that, you can drag it horizontally to size it in time. You can erase notes by right clicking on them, or selecting the eraser tool and left clicking on them. A quick way to clone the notes in a current selection is to drag with the shift key held in advance. You can also draw complete chords at once instead of single notes. Right click on the draw mode button and select from the pop up menu the kind of chord you would like. Now, when drawn into the piano roll, a whole chord will be drawn at once. You can use the cut tool to easily split one or more notes. The playback tool allows you to preview the current sequence by dragging it horizontally in the piano roll. In the piano roll, you can make groups of notes slide gradually from one pitch to another. For this purpose, you will need to draw a special slide event which will describe to FL Studio how the notes should be slid. Slides look like note events, however they have a small white triangle drawn on their left side. To draw notes, click the slide toggle button. Here you can see the small white triangle. Slides do not produce a sound themselves, but instead make existing notes slide. When you draw a slide event, FL Studio will start sliding existing notes towards pitch, where the slide is positioned. You can draw notes and slides in four colors, green, cyan, pink, and yellow. The color you use will not make a difference to the note's sound, but is instead used when you are sliding, as slides will only apply to notes of the same color. For example, a yellow slide will bend to the pitch of yellow notes, but will ignore green notes. This way you can have up to four notes sliding in different directions simultaneously. To select the current drawing color, click the appropriate button in the group selector. Ok, now there is another way to set note properties. You can double click on a note to open its dialog box. In the dialog box, you can edit various note parameters including panning, volume, cutoff, and resonance. You can also edit the note's start time and duration in great detail. Lastly, the Piano Roll menu provides many important functions when working in the Piano Roll, such as copying and pasting notes and converting color groups, etc. You can access the Piano Roll menu from clicking the Piano Roll menu button. Well, that's about it. 
We hope you enjoy this video and that you now have a good feel when using the piano roll in FL Studio. Of course, there isn't time in a short video to cover all the possible options. FL Studio comes with excellent online documentation, which you can use alongside this tutorial to answer more detailed questions as your knowledge of the program increases. Thanks for your attention and have fun with FL Studio.